Hi, this is Scott Fryman, and I hope you are prepared to have some fun with me as we explore the world of Elastic Audio. Elastic Audio is an extremely powerful way to manipulate audio in Pro Tools, as if it were MIDI. Elastic Audio is really two processes in one. Elastic Time allows you to time, compress, or expand your audio with excellent results. You can stretch a region or part of a region, and you can easily match audio to your session tempo with no constraints. Pro Tools 8 adds Elastic Pitch, the ability to shift the pitch of audio in real time. It's a great way to fit tonal audio to the key of your other loops, or use it for special effects by applying it to non-tonal material. Elastic Audio is one of three ways we have of manipulating the timing of audio in Pro Tools, along with Beat Detective and manually cutting and moving audio. If you saw my course on Beat Detective at MacProVideo.com, you're already a master of using Beat Detective to cut and slice audio. In that course, I showed you how we can use Beat Detective to align audio to a tempo map or derive a tempo map from audio. I also showed you how we can manually slide audio around to make the results of Beat Detective even better. So what is Elastic Audio, and why do we need it? Well, Elastic Audio lets me change the tempo of audio without adjusting pitch, just like Beat Detective, but it does it in real time. Instead of working with sliced audio like Beat Detective, Elastic Audio warps the entire waveform without cutting the audio. It can't derive grooves from audio like Beat Detective can, but it can certainly help you conform your audio to a groove. Now you may be thinking that Elastic Audio sounds a lot like the TCE trimmer, and you'd be right. But whereas the TCE trimmer is fairly limited in how it processes audio, Elastic Audio gives you lots of flexibility. As usual, it's easier to show you than to tell you. So I've got a simple example here. Now don't worry about the details of what I'm doing with Elastic Audio. I'm just trying to show you the difference between the traditional TCE time compression expansion trimmer and Elastic Audio. Now I have the same loop on two tracks. I'm gonna take this first track and just play it for you. Now let's say we want to double the speed of the track. So I'm gonna actually change the tempo here. Let's just make it 150, okay? And then I'm gonna use my time compression trimmer to trim it back to bar five. That sounds pretty good, but let me try slowing it down now. I'll bring it down to 80, and let's drag this back out. Now, each time I do this, you'll notice it has to compute a new file. And now I'm starting to hear some buzzing, some artifacts. Let's bring it back to the original tempo. I'll just line it up again to the grid. Once again, it computes. Well, it certainly doesn't sound like our original loop. This was our original. And now we've got all kinds of artifacts here. And each time we stretch that file, we're gonna get more and more artifacts because it's building on top of the previous compression or expansion that I've done. Now I could of course go back and revert to the original file, but that's always very time consuming. Now let's see what would happen if I used Elastic Audio to do all this. I will now solo my second track, it's the same loop. I'm going to turn on Elastic Audio and set up a rhythmic algorithm. And let's trim it back. First we said move the tempo to 150. And I'll just trim it here. Okay. Let's change it back to 80 now. So I will drag this out to here. I can even dial down my decay a little bit so it's a little crisper. Each time I do this, I can stretch and expand, and it's never recomputing. At least I'm not seeing it create any files. And one other thing that I can do with Elastic Audio that I can't do with my traditional TCE trimmer is this. I'm gonna draw in some tempo changes. Let's go from 80 up to 100, 142, 
and then we'll ramp it back down and up again. And now let me change this to a tick bass track and drag it back here. So it's four bars long, but there are tempo changes as we go. In fact, let me ramp up to there. Here we go. Pretty nice, huh? So that is just scratching the surface of what Elastic Audio can do. And each time I stretch and compress my audio, there is no recomputing of a file. The original audio quality is always preserved. And there are many other settings that we can use to make it sound even better when we stretch or compress our audio. So we'll be learning all about that in the coming lessons. But first, a couple of intro lessons to get you into Elastic Audio mode.